So in this movie, we're going to continue talking about the clipboard paste options and the shortcut menu paste options. We're going to paste values, which is something you will do a lot of. We also have the option to paste the values and keep the number formatting, and we can paste the values and keep all of the source formatting. On the other hand, we can paste just the formatting. We can paste a link that's linked back to the source cell. We can paste a picture. And coolest of all, we can paste a linked picture that if you don't watch anything else in this movie, fast forward and at least watch that. So we've got the same schedule that we had in a prior movie, but in case you didn't see the prior movie, I'm going to explain it. I've got a schedule here with three groupings of paste options. And these groupings are exactly the same. And I'm going to press Control C so I can get this, the drop down menu, because otherwise I wouldn't be able to do that. But these groupings are exactly the same that are shown in this drop down menu. There's paste, which we went over in the prior movie, paste values, and other paste options. This drop down menu is exactly the same that you'll find in a flyout menu when I right click the cell and get the shortcut menu and hover over Pay Special. There it is. It's exactly the same. So in this movie, we're going to talk about the paste values and the other paste options. And not to complicate things more than necessary, we also have another grouping of paste options, which we'll look at in the next movie. And it is the Paste Special dialog box. I have a picture of that because later on we're going to paste a picture, and that's the picture we're going to paste. And on this schedule, there are three options that have a gray fill that are not available in the Paste Special dialog box. There's also paste options that are available in the Paste Special dialog box that are not available in either the clipboard group or the flyout menu. And to complete the explanation, when I right click, these options, these paste options that are readily available, are the ones that are most commonly used, and they're in cells that are filled with blue and that have a bold font, including paste, values, formulas, transpose, paste the formatting, and paste a link. So with that as a backdrop, and possibly too much information, I'll grant you that, but I wanted to lay the groundwork here. We're going to talk about pasting values. This is something you will definitely do a lot of. We have a formula in this cell, E16. It's 5 plus 6, it equals 11. It's formatted to be $11. It's italicized and it's underlined. You're going to find reasons to paste the values generated by formulas frequently. And there's several different ways you can do it. And I'm going to show you a couple different ways to do it. One of the ways we can do it is consistent with what we've been doing in the prior movie. And that's press Control C, select a cell, right click, and either on the visible menu, click Values, or the Pay Special flyout menu, click Values. You can instead press Control V, which won't paste the values, but then you can activate the Smart Tag by pressing Control and then V again. So if you press Control V twice, I'm going to select another cell and do that. Control V once, Control V a second time. And I'm going to escape out of this to deselect that cell, go back and select it again. And when you hover over the edge of the cell, you'll get a four sided arrow. If you right click that arrow and hold the mouse button down, drag over to the destination, release the button. You're going to get an array of options, including what you see. Move here, copy here. And what we're interested in is the third one. Copy here as values only. Left click that, and that's yet a third way to paste just the values. So we can paste just the values, or we can bring some of the formatting along, including the number formatting. Control C, right click to get the shortcut menu. Hover over Paste Special, the second option. We have the number formatting and no other formatting. It's not italicized, underlined, it's not red font, and there's no green fill. We can, however, also press Control C, right click, hover over Paste Special, and paste values and the source formatting, just as it says. And anytime you paste, you can press the Control key and activate that Smart Tag, and each one of these paste options has a letter associated with it. That's P, that's F, the formulas, 
There's O, the formula, and number formatting, and so on. So just as we did with pasting the values, we can paste using any of these options by activating that smart tag by pressing control and then press the relevant letter key associated with the option. The one we just used was E. So if I press E, there won't be any change because we just did that. But I can press control V and paste just the values, control P and paste everything. I'm going to control E. So you've got keyboard control over the ultimate pasting option. Going down to formatting, left clicking the cell, control C, right clicking the destination cell, hovering over paste special. And once again, this is an option that's going to show up in two places. It's here, formatting, and it's also here, and it's R. I'm going to left click, paste the formatting. I could also have pressed Control R. There's going to be no change because I just pasted the formatting. And to show you that I pasted the formatting, I'm going to put the same number in there, Control Enter, and it's currency, red font, underlined, italicized with the green fill. That's one way to paste the formatting, but we're going to look at some other ways to paste formatting that are actually quicker in some subsequent movies. We can also paste a link, selecting the source cell, control C, right clicking to get the shortcut menu, and this time using the visible options, paste link, which is also N. A link is a reference to another cell. In this case, it's cell E22. There's a dollar sign before E and a dollar sign before the number 22. That makes this an absolute reference. We're going to cover that in a subsequent movie too. So the important thing here is to understand that when there is a link to another cell and you change that cell's value, let's say to 100, the value of the cell that's linked to it changes as well. So the destination cell inherits its value from the source cell. Pasting a picture. To do that, you have to select one first, Control C, select a destination, right-click to get the shortcut menu, and you see we only have three options, and that's because we're dealing with a picture. You can't paste values, you can't paste formatting, but you can left-click picture and paste a picture. It's cut off a little bit because it's too far down, but I'm going to delete that and show you that you can also paste, selecting the picture, control C, in other formats. If I click paste special, I'm going to get this paste special dialog box that allows me to paste the picture as a PNG file, a JPEG, or a GIF file, a GIF file. And there's three other choices as well, a bitmap and so on. So I can paste it as a PNG file. And finally, we can paste a linked picture. I'm going to select this area here, press Control C, go over to cell S7, hover over Paste Special, and select the Linked Picture option, option I. This is a linked picture. This is an image of the source cells. And it's something you can move around, you can rotate it, you can resize it. And the best part about the linked picture is that it is linked. So any change in the source cells will be reflected in the picture, the linked picture. This is a great tool to build a dashboard with because the formatting around the cells where the picture is doesn't affect the picture. The formatting is independent from the cells where the picture lays on top of. It's all determined or driven from the source cells that this is a picture of. So those are the rest of the clipboard and shortcut menu paste options. We looked at pasting values in several different ways to do that. We pasted the values in a number formatting, and we pasted the values and kept all of the sorts formatting. We also just pasted the formatting. We pasted a link, which is a reference back to the source cell. We copied and pasted a picture, and we created a linked picture.